Looking ahead, we're still a few months away from hurricane season, but we're learning that hurricane seasons are getting busier. Probably not too much of a surprise as last year was the busiest on record. 12 News meteorologist TJ Del Santo looked into the numbers. Meteorologists and climatologists use 30 years of data to see how the climate or the average weather could be changing. We do this for temperatures, rainfall, and even hurricanes at the beginning of each decade. Well, the new hurricane data is in, and it's all gone up by a lot. The number of tropical systems has been rising in recent decades. The largest increase has been this current one now. The tropical average from 1991 to 2020 is up significantly, according to Brian McNulty, a senior research associate at the University of Miami. The name storms and the major hurricanes are up about 19 percent. I think the hurricanes were up 12 percent. Why the big jump? McNulty said there are a few reasons. The 80s were relatively quiet and those numbers are no longer in the 30 year average. So we're throwing out a bunch of inactive years and throwing in a bunch of active years. Natural atmosphere and ocean fluctuations are evident when we include the 1950s, which were very active. But McNulty said they're probably not a big driver. Improved technology has helped us find more tropical systems. We can see more happen at smaller scales and things that maybe we might have missed. 30, 50 years ago. Oceans are warming around the globe, and that could be the biggest factor in the sudden increase. What we expect to happen is of those storms that do form, they could skew on the more intense side. Later this spring, the National Hurricane Center will be meeting to discuss whether the beginning of the hurricane season will be moved up to May 15th. There have been some storms that have developed before June 1st. It won't happen this year, but it could potentially happen next year. I'm TJ Del Santo, 12 News.